in, let's talk a little bit about the FDA and, and maybe some of the other things that people might not understand that you're doing in your responsibilities. So as part of the, the influence side, mm -hmm. so, the, so what I just talked about was more of the com compliance side, I would say, because we're right. just logging the things that are coming in. So as more of the influence side, Hologic um, sits on a lot of trade organizations. So trade organizations are a great way to try to gain influence. Um, what's great about trade organizations is you can, first of all, you have a lot of different uh, people, you know, all trying to come together to give feedback on something. So let's say the FCA releases a guidance document. They say draft for comment. You could, as a company, decide we're going to respond just as Hologic. Um, that has to usually go through a lot of legal internal communications, you know, making sure that, you know, this is that everybody's in agreement, all 6,000, you know, people are in agreement. This is how we want to respond to this. Or instead you can go through a trade organization and then you can give your feedback to a trade organization. And then they lump that in with a lot of other feedback from some of the other industry like Boston Scientific or, at, you know, um, some other companies, and then they'll respond as AdvaMed to the FDA. And a lot of times that will give them more weight. Right. So instead of just being one company, one off company, especially if you're a small company, um, you know, you don't may not have as much weight. The FDA will read your comment, but maybe it won't, like I said, hold as much weight as if it comes from a huge trade organization. So right. we do sit on a lot of those. They have plenty of working groups across all different, you know, topics and subjects, some AIs, some IBDs, some software, um, all of them. And, you know, it's not just AdvaMed, MedTech Europe, um, MIDA, NEMA, you know, a bunch of other trade organizations, also standard organizations, same thing. We have, you know, engineers that sit on those standard organizations and things. And it's just, how do we maintain, control all that, and then keep that, keep that feed coming in of like, okay, this trade organization wants to know this because this, um, this agency released a guidance document or another standard or wants to do another standard. And what does Hologic have to say about that? And what's that process? And how do we comment? What's our stance on that? Is it positive? Is it negative? How do we feel about it? Who's the expert? that needs to see this so that they can provide their comments into it. And how do you manage all that? I mean, that's a lot. Of, that's just one aspect, you know, it's right. just commenting. And imagine you multiply that across, you know, hundreds of different devices, three different divisions um, and globally, you know, 179 different countries yeah. and, and all these changes. Like, how do you manage all that information? It's like, how could we not have, you know, a department dedicated to doing this work? 